everybody. I am Russ. This is Chris. Do I make a Facebook post explaining that I wish I could invite everybody to the wedding, but no. I just can't? No. 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 Because there's some people that straddle the line that have to get left off. No. No. Here it is, dude. I'm gonna hey, this is 2017. I'm you know how touchy people I'm are. I'm going to help you. Okay. I'm helping you right here. Here's the deal. My dad has said this a many a time. Okay? There's some things my dad has said, too. This is my dad. Better not say it here. Boy, when you come into town, this is when I was married to Deborah. When you come into town, you go to your wife's mother's first and visit that family. Then you come to us. You don't live with me no more. You live with her. So to keep your life happy, you keep her happy. So she has more friends than you. I'm, I'm saying family. Uh, family and friends. So the people you invite is, hey, I'm inviting these seven people because she has more family and friends and it's her day. It ain't your day. You're just part of this day. But I'm, I'm just afraid that people don't get that. It don't matter what they get. Y'all are getting it now. They they all watch the show right now. Y'all are getting you, it. I wish they all watched it. We we have it under control right now. Because here's the thing. At the end of the day, you don't live with those people. Well, at one couple, one couple has invited me to their wedding, has invited me to their everything, everything. But they're in a group of friends that I hang out with, and they are the last group to start hanging out with that group. And they're really the only one in that group that's not invited, but it's simply like you said, I just ran out of room. If I had a pile of money, but it don't we matter. would have a, we'd just but shut the backyard down and have a party. I agree, but it, it don't matter. This is how it has to be. Your bride has more family and friends than you do. That is it. If you don't understand that, you shit out of luck. That that's what I'm saying. And if you get butt hurt, they ain't your real friends. Well, if you want me to step that. I'll just come do the best man, and then I'll go over here, and then I'll let they can come in to the no, after party. Ain't. What I'm saying is they're not. That ain't what I'm saying. I know. You, I'm just you saying want to invite everybody, but you can't. I want to know where that line is because I don't know. It's one of those deals. We have 200 spots, really 180. Brooks, put your list together. I'll put mine together. All of hers is family. Yeah. And about four friends. Okay, here's my list. One seventy five. <laughs> so here's my list. Sixty five. Because I knew she had more. Well, mine's up to about eighty, and hers is down to about one six uh, one thirty five. Well, then you're good. <clears throat> but mine's still small compared to hers. But it is her day. At the end of the day, it's her day. It'll be my night. If she wants 150, <laughs> you give her 150. Oh, uh, she knows. She knows that. No, I'm talking. About, we're talking about that. And, and you guys comment on. And this. I'll be honest. And people that are watching it that will get an invite, there's an RSVP. RSVP when you get it, because what happens is, if her aunt and uncle from Houston. Don't no, make, we're not coming. Then you have. To then she spots. can invite two more of her people. Right, I get it. I get it. That's that's how we want to play it. So anyway. there was a reason I got married at Jacob's Ladder, and you were the maid of honor and the best man. Pulled and it both took off. two minutes, and Gary was still late to take the pictures. <laughs> but I ain't worried about that. That's a good point. So give us your 
Give us your. It was just y'all's anniversary like a week ago or so, huh? No, I think it's it's in March. It's like March the something. It's on the board in there, so I won't forget. <laughs> I thought uh, I saw a picture come up the other day. Uh, no, it's is March. It's I got, I'll check. It's on the board. She wrote it, so I would never forget. That's uh, a man's man right there. <laughs> that's how she does it. Uh, give us your comments because that's a good that's a good topic right there. That's a good that's a good deal of. This is really. Because I get this all the time. I, I ain't seen my invite. Really? And I go, you ain't getting one. <laughs> and I play it off, you know. Like, that but, really... but these are people like Colt and Joey and, and those guys that are down at the backyard yeah. on Sunday playing. And, I, you know, they understand. And I, everybody understands if I go I wonder through if the all, day. if they really want to go. Because, like me, if, we, if, if, if I was not in the wedding, and we wasn't best friends. If it was, no, I, they didn't want. They don't want to go. Okay, good. It's, it's just a deal. But Cindy, I, you hadn't called for my address yet, and I know she would want to be invited. Yeah, well, she's known you a long time, and uh, her man banks there, so she he knows Brooks and and everybody yeah, that, at the bank. That. And but, but when you have a number, not, but when you have a number. That should that should pretty much everybody knows. I got two hundred spots. The woman's gonna have more. I only got this many. So, me, sorry. That's it might be it like the kicker in the NFL draft. I may let one come just out of pity. <laughs> one more person. God dang. Give us your opinion. I, I want to know what you think Chris should do. And the people who watch this show and have watched this show for years. No, this is bothering the hell out of me. Oh. You know it is. Yeah. Why do people make excuses for themselves? And I'm going to go into a thread that uh, Stephanie was on, not really, but found. And why, why do people make excuses for themselves to feel better about... If I make an excuse for myself, if I, you know what, I... I just, I don't have time to do this. I, don't, I just don't have time. There's no way I have time. So by the time I tell myself I don't have time and somebody goes, hey, man, you can get that done, I just, I'd love to. I'd have no time. Why, why, do, why does human, why do we make excuses for ourselves? Human nature is to defend. And making an excuse is just another defense mechanism. That's all it is. I, I do agree with that. That 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 is all it is. It is. I don't want to take blame for this. Yeah. So how do I defend myself? So let me come up with some off the wall reason why I had three extra hours that I did absolutely nothing, but I didn't have time to. I didn't have time to do it. Pick the kids up or yeah. work all, out or whatever. It, it all stems <clears throat> from that. I just. I don't know, man. I have always felt if you want something, you go get it. If if you if you want something, you just figure out a way, put your priorities a little different, and go get it. Everybody's drive's different though. Yesterday, I was sitting there, and you, I can't. It's hard to imagine how many people come up to us and go, "Man, hey, where's my deal to the wedding?" You know, or something that revolves around this show of how many people we don't even know watch. Oh, yeah. How many people watch that don't comment? Millions. <clears throat> millions. It yeah. doesn't show it down at the bottom, no, but it's no. millions. Millions. <clears throat> but the K4 guys, just one of them come back. Oh. He knocked it on out. Bam, bam, bam. He come in, brought his girlfriend, got a drink. I said, Jamie, make sure, you know, they got a $50 tab on us. I said, it's a dollar a day for 50 days, though. He's like, what? <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was good. That was a good joke right there. But he got a burger and everything, so I think he's... he's All right. That's what I... Something Woodall. His last name's Woodall. I, anyway. K4 if, guy. If by chance you know a guy that works at K4 with the last name Woodall. Thank you, brother. Tell him thanks. Yesterday <laughs> we did our... We were back in the freeze. I had some text messages saying, man, what exactly does that feel like? How does it work? So, without any further ado, 
Here's what it looks like and feels like. All right, we're back in the uh, cryo chamber. Chamber. And it's cold. Uh, is it cold? Yes, it's cold. Show them where the. And, and oh, it hasn't even got cold yet, but yeah. it's getting there. That goes to like negative 150, right? Yes, sir. Negative 150. So we are back, uh, like we said the other day on the show, we're excited to be back. Chris goes first. There's how it works. Three minutes. Count, counting up. You stay in there for three minutes, and man, is it getting a little nipply in here. <laughs> Might be a little shrinkage taking place. I don't know. <laughs> And we laid off for a month, and I'm telling you, we gotta get back on this thing, gotta get back. If you don't do this, just, oh. All right, back to the show, peace. First day back was a little nipply. First day back was freezing. My elbow was super cold. And right here. And always, my kidneys always get super cold. Okay, I know it's mental. I already said it when I walked out of there. I know it's mental. What? Did you tell, did you feel any different today, getting up? Yes, I did, from the from the prior two days. But we also know that you gotta go a couple three days. days. You wanna go You gotta be consistent days. Yeah. three days a week to get full effect. Correct. So, we'll go back today, we'll go tomorrow, and we should be back on track to. I will say help. this, I felt in my shoulders so much better this morning. And I usually can tell when I got to get up at about three o'clock to pee, when I wake up and I'm like, oh my gosh, my shoulder. I did not do that. Now, of course, that's like I said, I could have mentally made myself feel that mm -hmm. way, but I really did feel good. So I'm telling you guys, I think, I think I'm gonna talk cryotherapy into being our first. Yeah, that first should be there. We talk about them enough. Since we, uh, we paid <clears> for it. <throat> Sits ought to be up there too. Yep, them sons of mother. I still think we go back to haters will hate successful Ooh. people. It don't matter who you are. And winners are winners. And winners are winners. 